We are going live. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> Marcus is, is getting ready. <laughs> yeah, I don't really work in this room, so. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, I'm gonna start talking in Italian, okay? Okay, ciao a tutti. Benvenuti su questa, questa diretta su Bridges of Light. Um, sono, sono molto onorata di, di presentarvi Marcus Day per la prima volta su Bridges of Light. Eh, sono felicissima di essere qui con lui. Eh, probabilmente Grazie. molti di voi lo conoscono già. Eh, chi non lo conosce, Marcus mi diceva che è un medium da eh, più di vent'anni. Eh, ha un suo canale che si chiama The Medium Wave of Marcus Days, correct? That's yeah, your yeah. platform, right? Ok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. E, sì, e poi um, sono molti anni, lui ha studiato all'Arthur Finlay College, eh, ovviamente, e sono molti anni che lui fa questa, eh, fa dirette online e sono veramente molto, molto seguite, quindi sono molto felice di averlo qui. So I said that you have a platform, your own platform, that is more than 20 years, that uh, maybe 20, 30, maybe, some, something like 30. 20 years. years. 20 years, ok. 20 you years. Can change if you want. Ok, whatever. <laughs> no, we, we stay glued to the, to the truth, ok? We oh, stay pinned yeah, to the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah. So, allora, um, uh, sto traducendo, uh, sono vent'anni che, che fa il medium, ha studiato all'Arthur Finlay College e uh, per la prima volta, uh, no, and for the, I, I said that I'm very honored and I'm pleased to have you here for the first time on Bridges of Light and we hope that you will come some other times. That's Thank an you. invitation. And, if I'm uh, sorry? If I'm invited again, let's see how it goes. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Allora lui dice se sono invitato perché prima vediamo come va e poi dopo vediamo che cosa succede. Okay, so uh, we have, oh, we have people from uh, Cork. Uh, you know Cork? No, yeah. yeah, Brian O'Callaghan uh, is a dear friend of mine and uh, so, hello Gaetano, Gaetano is the founder and, and the owner of the, of the platform. Ciao Gaetano, uh, he's saying good evening, Sara Verderi and Marcus, very, very nice to see you, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daniela, so we have lots of people, okay, let me check here. Yes, he will be invited again for sure. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, allora, uh, so you wanna you wanna say something at the beginning just to introduce yourself, your practice and whatever. Um yeah, by so the way, I, I wanted to tell you that this platform is very fond of mediumship, mediumship. So we have a lot of mediums here and uh so it's a very uh hot topic for us, you know. So, a friendly place. Yes. Ok, sì, uh, gli ho detto che siamo una, una piattaforma molto, ehm, molto portata per la medianità, quindi è un posto molto favorevole per lui, molto piacevole. Ok. So, good evening everybody and thank you so much for welcoming, on, welcoming me onto your platform. It's, it's always an honor um, to work for the spirit people, those people that have moved to the next life, but to be in... To be invited onto someone else's platform, um, I'm very grateful and I'm looking forward to speaking with you this evening. Ok, allora ha detto vi ringrazio molto, ha detto che è un onore lavorare sia le, per le persone che ci sono oltre il velo, per la, la, eh, gli spiriti, lo, le, il mondo degli spiriti mm. e anche per delle persone che sono estremamente spirituali e mm. che sono qui con noi, quindi è molto onorato anche lui. Thank you, thank you Marcus. We're very happy. <laughs> um, thank you, prego. So for me, um, when Sarah invited me to join and gave me this opportunity, I thought it was appropriate that I speak about what we might call the miracle of spirit communication. Because even though I've been aware of spirit people since I was a small boy, I still find it amazing that we find that we leave this world and find ourselves somewhere else where life is so real and it continues and we meet family and friends and loved ones. And so 
I still find it absolutely amazing, even after all this time. And it does feel like something of a miracle. Allora lui dice che fin da piccolo ha sempre sentito le persone che, che gli parlavano dal, dall'altro mondo, dall'aldilà, e che per lui è sempre, quindi è sempre stata una, una cosa molto, ehm, lui è sempre stato molto in contatto, però quando io l'ho invitato lui ha pensato di dare questo nome, il miracolo della comunicazione tra gli spiriti, perché eh, anche di là c'è molta vita, e quindi eh, è molto intenso, è molto, è molto bello vedere eh, quando noi andiamo di là che c'è una grandissima vita che possiamo incontrare ancora la famiglia, gli amici e tutte le persone care. Okay. And then at this time now I've come to realize or for some time that there is no such thing as miracles. There are only things that are um, able to happen within within universal law and nature but as humble human beings we find the miraculous because we haven't yet um, manifested the consciousness to realize that they are actual ordinary processes that are available to us Mm. Eh, quando poi a un certo punto noi cominciamo a diventare più eh, consci di noi stessi quello che noi chiamiamo miracolo perché in realtà non siamo, non siamo consapevoli che ci sono delle leggi di natura eh, che stanno dentro di noi e che, che, sono, e che de sono anche delle leggi dell'universo eh, prima di diventare consapevoli di queste cose che accadono nell'universo noi li chiamiamo miracoli quando poi invece cominciamo a diventare consapevoli e a conoscere queste leggi cominciamo a, a pensare che sono semplicemente cose che accadono quindi da miracolo diventano cose che accadono e che possono accadere and that can happen if a person develops in You know, in the knowledge of everything what you have inside and what you have outside. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention, and I will do obviously a demonstration of mediumship this evening and, and try uh, and bring contacts to some people here. But before I do that, I just want to say that for me, it's like be, it's almost an art being a medium because you can start to feel the power within you of your own spirit through practice and then it's you're touched by the power of someone else's spirit and it's how you respond to that power and it's almost like singing a song it's almost like painting a painting and as you allow yourself to be free with a world wherever that information takes you then beautiful things can happen far beyond anything that you might have thought to ask that person but allow the intelligence of the spirit to flow through you in a healing and uplifting way. Mm. Allora lui dice che quando eh, per lui è una forma d'arte questa, è come cantare, è eh, come dipingere, perché è proprio un flusso, eh, quando lui espande il suo spirito, e comunque lo dice in generale, non solo lui, dice è proprio un movimento di espandere il proprio spirito e toccare, essere toccati dallo spirito di altre persone e eh, sentire proprio il potere di questa cosa che accade. E quando questa cosa accade diventa proprio come cantare una canzone, eh, muovere una danza, dipingere un quadro e, e, e accadono le guarigioni e si è trasportati in un flusso in cui ci si abbandona e attraverso questo abbandono questo flusso continua e, ed, è, un, ed è, è veramente una danza, è veramente come dipingere un quadro, very beautiful, very poetico. Yeah. And I think that we find that whether we are healers and of course mediumship is healing and it should be, and if it isn't, then it's not real. Um, then okay. if we are healers, if we're doing any kind of spiritual work, to learn to be able to allow that power to move through us and manifest um, whatever it's there to do at that time, to me, is, is the best thing that we can learn to get ourselves out of the way and be an instrument to that intelligence. So that's, that's what I intend to do this evening. Allora lui prima di, di adesso farà anche delle dimostrazioni pubbliche quindi eh, dirà anche chi si sta presentando e eh, sta dicendo che per lui è molto importante che nella, nella la medianità sia collegata alla guarigione perché comunque sono due concetti che vanno molto vicini e eh, adesso mi sono un po' persa perché il concetto era molto, era molto articolato però ehm, 
diceva che se non c'è questo collegamento tra medianità e guarigione allora non, non, non c'è la medianità perché comunque è un, è, un lasciarsi, è un lasciarsi prendere da questo flusso entrare in contatto, lasciarsi toccare da qualcosa di più grande da, una, da uno spirito più grande e, e quindi avvengono le guarigioni grazie a persona che ha detto che ho una voce bellissima <ride> allora, anche, like, grazie a una persona che ha, che ha detto che hai una bellissima voce che aspetta eh, vediamo un attimo <ride> ha detto che lui ha una bellissima voce e una faccia da, da radio intendendo dire che non sono proprio così ma this is not true you're an handsome guy oh, come on yeah, yeah. Um, <ride> so I, I do feel the urge to begin doing a demonstration I'm sure we could speak per much longer, but I'm sure people would like to hear from their loved ones. Um, Say one second, I okay. And now that's okay. Sorry. Maybe just ask if there's anyone who's not seen mediumship before. Ah, sì. Allora, um, dunque, lui ha detto che adesso sente, sente l'urgenza di cominciare a canalizzare. Mm. Se c'è qualcuno che, anche perché avrebbe, le piace, gli piacerebbe parlare molto, però probabilmente le persone desiderano sentire qualche cosa. And there are some people that is writing you that they saw you and they follow you on your platform, even if they ah. don't understand English. So they don't understand what you're talking about, but they like so to they follow you to anyway. <laughs> so tonight, you know. <laughs> anyway, tonight maybe they can be, you know, they can understand something if I can. Anyway. Uh, comunque, uh, a girl says, Roberta says, I feel at home when you talk. Oh, Roberta, oh, yeah, that's that's, she's lovely. Um, so Fabrizio says, yes, mediality and mediumship, many mediumship and healings are the faces of the same coin, the faces mm. of the same coin. Um, yeah, and uh, you're fantastic, fantastic, Marcus Day. I love your accent. <laughs> So, okay, okay, so they are very, okay, there's a question. Uh, so the people that arrive, who are, uh, who are they? They are entities, generical entities, or their relatives? The only way the contact between me and people I'm talking to will work is it has to be through love. There has to be an emotional connection. So it will be family and friends, and if they don't, and, and the evidence The, the, the information oh, yeah, right. would be evidence that, wow, I recognize my mom, I recognize my father, I recognize my friend. So it'll only work if there's an emotional connection. So we're not going to get like Michael Jackson or Elvis <laughs> or, you know, Pavarotti yeah. or something, unless somebody's related to them, you know, that's the only way it works. <coughs> okay. Allora, lui dice che ehm, quando, quando lui l'unico modo per ricevere veramente una persona è attraverso l'amore, quindi è sicuramente una persona di famiglia e soprattutto anche quando danno evidenze è chiaro che una persona attraverso l'evidenza può riconoscere, quindi può dire wow è mia mamma, wow è mio papà, insomma, quindi mh, sicuramente sono persone di famiglia. Allora, eh, lui diceva se c'era qualcuno che non ha mai ricevuto una, ehm, una, una canalizzazione. There's a lady that says she is my first time. Her name is Rosaria Paolone. Good evening, Rosaria. And so mm -hmm. what we'll do, we'll start if that's okay. Um, because there's quite a few people here and I can't actually see who's here because everyone's just called Facebook user to me. What I would do is if, if I have a message for you, you should have a little vibration in your chair or wherever you're sat, then you should levitate six or seven inches off your chair. <laughs> okay. Do I you have to that, translate that? I wish, I, wish, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish that was true. <laughs> God, you got to Ok, ha detto che quando uno riceve una canalizzazione da lui comincia a lievitare praticamente di 6-7 cm dalla sedia, sente una piccola vibrazione e poi comincia a lievitare. Quindi se, se uno sta cominciando a lievitare vuol dire che riceve una canalizzazione. <laughs> ok. What we'll do, what we'll do, I wish that was true. What we'll do yeah. is I'll start to give my mind mentally to feel, sense, see and hear the people that have taken that journey we call death. And then I will describe a few bits of specific information someone should recognize what i'm saying it might be more than one person but what i ask is that people type 
yes, 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 C, C, C. If they in, understand everything or 99% of what I'm saying, and then we'll, if it's all right with you, invite them on and I'll speak to them. Okay, no, allora, no, adesso... Ok, adesso lui si, si connette e dice che le, le persone che si presentano lui comunque le descriverà e dirà come sono eccetera. Allora quello che lui desidera e chiede da voi è che se una persona si riconosce al 99% in quello che lui sta dicendo scriva o yes 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 oppure sì sì sì. Ok, come volete, di modo che andiamo poi a prendere le persone e vediamo se corrispondono a loro. It's easier than me and you trying to read lots of information because then we can we can focus on who it might be all right so um everybody listen carefully um i'm very much aware of um a man that was taken from his house on a stretcher with the ambulance and i know this man to be father to somebody here and i know that he had a stroke um okay and that's what happened to him in the, at home before he was taken allora c'è un uomo qui che è stato portato via in barella dall'ambulanza, è un uomo che è il papà di, qualcuna, di qualche persona che c'è qua, e lui ha avuto eh, un, un attacco di cuore, quindi un infarto in casa prima, di essere, prima che l'ambulanza fosse chiamata. And I know very much that he talks uh, to me about you having two siblings, so I know he has three children in the lifetime or the person I need to speak to has two siblings. Um, okay. Here, amici, amici uh, eh, parenti, yeah, yeah, yeah. parenti, yeah. parenti, ok, parenti. <ride> okay. parenti sì. yeah. Allora, ha tre figli, dovrebbe avere, eh, ok, tre figli e due parenti qua. Allora, non chiedete, there's somebody who's writing, does he have mustache? Ok, don't, don't ask any no, questions, ask, no, no, because we're not gonna, much. no. But, i do know that he worked with boats in his lifetime at one point. There's ha lavorato the, con le fishing boats, I see cargo boats, boat. but small fishing boats. So I know that this would have had a connection to his life. Okay. And I also know that we've got the name of like Francis or Frank or something like this. Uh, okay. That kind of name has a strong connection, not necessarily his name, but connecting strongly to the family. Um, okay. And somebody has a ring. Oh, somebody has a, a gold colored ring and it's got a, a flat stone in the top which looks like a dark red color that will have a okay. connection to him as well. Allora, lui nella vita ha lavorato con le barche, con le barche di, uh, da pesca uh, e um, cioè, è collegato con un nome tipo Franco, Francis o qualcosa di questo okay. tipo. E, e dunque c'è una donna che ha una, un anello d'oro con una pietra colorata lui indica questo, questo, uh, questo dito e questa pietra è un, blu, un rosso scuro dark red, mm. right? Dark red yeah, yeah. Yeah. rosso scuro, d'oro rosso scuro, Ma, sì Maria Grazie Greco è saying sì, sì, sì Irene sì Irene Mun, Munteanu sì e Maria Grazia Greco, sì, sì, sì. Um, Maria. You, I, I don't know if Maria, if you want to invite her on, but if not, I'll start talking to her because I do feel connected to Maria um, straight away. And okay. can I just ask, Maria should understand that... E Maria comunque, a... ragazze. Maria Grazia Greco, è lei. Sì, ok. Sì. Ok, go on, Maria, sorry. If I am with Maria, she should understand that um, her, her father um, had terrible problems with one of his legs or nearly lost his leg at one point. Allora, suo padre potrebbe aver avuto um, una, un problema alle gambe oppure a, aver quasi perso una gamba. But Maria, Maria says, uh, no, my father Franco, but no ships. Okay. No Are there, is there anybody in the family that works with boats or there's been a strong connection to fishing boats? Allora, c'è qualcuno, Maria Grazia, nella famiglia che ha avuto una grande connessione con, uh, con le barche o uh, qualcuno nella famiglia, magari non lui? Let me just... Il problema alla gamba è stato grave comunque, l'ha quasi there's perso. A, there's a picture of this man when he's young looking very handsome wearing a, a sailor's hat so i know that he must have been in the um, you know a sailor 
Ok, allora c'è una, una foto con questo uomo ehm, che ha un, un cappello, è, è un uomo molto bello, una foto di quando era giovane, ha un cappello un po' spostato così, è un cappello da marinaio. Maria Grazia says no. Okay. No fishing, fishing boats. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, Okay, does anybody else feel they understand this at this time as I've given it so far? C'è qualcun altro che invece pensa che sia il suo, un suo parente, questa persona? Okay, there's a, uh, I don't know, a guy, she said, my grandpa was a sailor. Okay, Sara Luciano. Um, is that the only thing she understands or does she understand more? Ok, eh, Sara Luciano è l'unica cosa che ti risuona oppure anche le altre, oppure c'è qualcos'altro? She said, I don't know anything about the redstone, but uh, he has more than three kids. Ok, that's not where I am then. That's not where I am. No. So let's just allora... this again. We've, okay. we've got a, a gentleman here in the spirit world who gives me the strongest feeling of being a father emotionally. Um, I know that he... Um, passes to the spirit world what feels like august i know i've got an august passing he has a stroke um and i have terrible problems with his legs and his digestive system he has quite a few things going on here mm. um and there's there's a photo of him as a younger man where he's wearing this dark uh navy uniform so i know that there's a connection to boats through that way but also we can talk about seeing fishing boats in the lifetime as being important. Uh, he okay. has three children. So I know whoever I need to speak to will recognize they've got two siblings and there's a, the, the Doro with the... Uh, okay, the dark, allora, the okay. Uh, Rosaria says, uh, my, my uncle is dead. He has three kids in the military, in the Marine, in the military Marine, but yeah. yeah. Um, Ok, uh, and uh, Rosaria, and uh, what's the name of the girl? Oh yes, she's the lady, right? I oh, know, but his name was Angelo. No, so it's not, his name is not Angelo. I didn't, I didn't say anything about the name, I said that there's a name like Frank or... Uh, uh, C'è un nome che si chiama Franco, non, potrebbe non essere il suo... Somewhere to the family. Ok, è morto in agosto. Quindi è andato via ad agosto, aveva problemi al cuore, ha avuto un infarto, aveva problemi alle gambe e uh, aveva un forte problema alle gambe e aveva anche dei problemi digestivi. Someone must recognize it, otherwise I'm going to have to try and look for you. <laughs> um. I feel the person I need to speak to has got quite bad problems in their lower spine, in their coccyx area, in the lower spine and like sciatic pain, which is causing them problems. Allora, la persona con cui deve parlare probabilmente ha avuto un problema alla schiena e soprattutto nella parte del coccyge. Do you think it's he's in this age or maybe it's a bit behind more behind I don't know I'm just, just No I, I I know that he wants to speak to um somebody he's here a, Yeah that's if, this is father somebody, If somebody oh. can understand most of it as father or grandfather then I'm happy to speak to them and see if it see if okay. it is for them Maria Grazia, she said he died for a stroke, but in November. Ask her if the birthday is in August. Il compleanno è ad agosto? The stroke was in August. O se l'infarto? No, l'infarto è a novembre. Allora, se il compleanno è ad agosto. Maria Grazia. Is 
tough this, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no. What I'll do for the next one, I'll go no. directly. Okay. Frankly, next, for the next one, I'm going to go directly to somebody. <laughs> Allora, niente, siccome non, non, non l'abbiamo riconosciuto, passiamo a un altro. Um, what we'll do as well is we could, if somebody wants to come live, then I will do them an aura reading and, and see who I have for them. You're very welcome uh, to bring someone live. But, um, uh, altrimenti... This is a shame, isn't it? Ah, uh, sorry? This is a shame that we can't find the right person. Right. And there's... Uh, i mean, 100 people, so I think someone would understand it. Mm. All right, what we we'll do is, it's a great shame. If somebody in a moment just say, oh, hang on, sis. <laughs> that someone is ringing. It's this guy yeah. that is ringing who wants to talk. Yeah, yeah it's for me, it's for me. Wants, um, yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, politely ask to get somebody else and then what i'll do is it's up to do you feel like bringing somebody live or not it's entirely up to you mm, yes we could do but but not just the, the reading i mean if there's some other person that wants to talk who wants to talk we can um, we it's can okay. go to another one yeah the next yeah one. I'll, do, I'll, I'll do the same again um and and we'll go from there but hey this is this is there's there's no um uh what's the word there's no guarantees in mediumship right so somebody <laughs> should understand this man and recognize yes. him yes uh okay so let's let's okay. move on then let's move on because they are just making a bit of confusion my my name was okay. yeah of course of course okay. yeah so let's have a look uh come on then spirit come on then okay so i know very much that I've got a man here in the spirit world that smoked. He was only in his 40s, mid 40s when he passes to the spirit world. And I know that we've got a very quick passing and there's a feeling of um, there being like a trauma to his head. And I feel like he's not at home when this happens. I know I can feel a bit of a mustache and a little bit unshaven as well. Mm -hmm. Ok, allora c'è un uomo um, che è morto in, eh, più o meno verso, it was a, about 40 years old, something like that. 40, 45, 40. 45 I think, yeah. Sì, 45, una cosa così, 40, 45. Allora fumava, aveva i baffi, un, era un po', oh. sì, un po', aveva un po' di barbetta oh. qua, ok, eh, ed è morto fuori casa eh, per un colpo, ha preso un colpo. Alla testa. Uh, I know he yeah. has a sister. I know he has a sister he's making reference to. Um, allora, ha una sorella a cui si sta riferendo. And I know very much that... Um, just give me one second, give me one second. At yeah. some point in his life, there's a strong connection to decorating and painting or somebody in the family does decorating and painting. You know, like allora, painting, painting houses. Yeah. A un certo punto della sua vita lui ha cominciato, eh, faceva decorazioni o pittura in casa eh, oppure qualcuno della famiglia che faceva decorazione e pittura. È morto molto velocemente comunque. I have to say, he it gives me the overwhelming feeling of taking responsibility for his own passing. That he, it somehow it's his own fault or by his own hand. That's why. Allora, la, la sensazione molto forte che sta arrivando a Marcus è che lui eh, si sente di dire che è stata sua responsabilità il morire. È stata colpa sua di essere morto. It's fault. Oh my God. Yeah. Hmm. So if anybody feels they recognize this so far, just please like yes, yes, see, see, see. Ok, c'è qualcuno che riconosce qualcuno del genere? <laughs> I can tell you that it could be my, my grandpa, eh? <laughs> but you know. <laughs> really? It could be. <laughs> yeah. It could well, be. It could be, it could be. It could be. <laughs> Is anybody replying? No. Okay. Okay. Um, 
he said he said uh, Ornella says uh, uh, Ornella Emanuele says my my uh, my son but he was not 45 how old was he quanti anni aveva Ornella otherwise there's a girl would it be close to that 45 now um quanti anni avrebbe? Allora, adesso quanti anni avrebbe? Or otherwise there's Maria Teresa Russo that says maybe my brother. No, this guy definitely wasn't 23. This guy was definitely older. Mm. Oh. Allora, non è... What about Maria Teresa? My brother, maybe. My brother, perhaps. No, this, guy was, this guy was definitely in his 40s. Um... We've got no. nobody who understands this. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, he says, uh, is he bold? <laughs> Somebody's asking, no. is he bold? No, no, no. El no. Calvo. No. no. Dark allora, hair. Anna, dark hair. Allora, um, um, capelli neri, capelli scuri. Allora, Anna Maria Venturini says, my, my boyfriend died for a stroke. In, in heart attack, a stroke in November 2017, my boyfriend. Yeah, that's not, um, mm. that's not what this is. I find it's a real shame that nobody can recognize either of these people. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, mm. We're going to. Uh, è davvero un peccato che non diciamo, è veramente un peccato che nessuno li sta riconoscendo. Ma prima ha detto, a volte succede nella medianità che non, non è una garanzia. The only, the, other pro, the only problem I've got is going directly to people is I haven't got people's names, it's just this Facebook user. <laughs> I know, I know. Because I don't know, yeah, I don't know how to... <laughs> it's okay. Let me have yeah. a look. Let me just yeah. have a look on my phone, hang on. Um... It's a shame, isn't it? I apologize to everybody that this is how it's going. Um, you know, uh, okay, lui si scusa, ma dice è un peccato, è un peccato, si scusa, ma... Eh. Allora, io, io vi dico, io vedo le, le, le dirette di lui, ci sono anche 800 persone a volte, 850 e, e, ed è una, è una raffica di cose una dietro l'altra, quindi è veramente curioso che nessuno riconosce, riconosca le persone. <laughs> um, let me ask a question. Do we do we still have Silvana? No, Silvana. Sarah, okay. Sarah. Silvana. Serralo. Silvana Ser Serallo. Serralo. Yeah. Um, if if she's still here, can you just ask her? Has she ever been in a position where? There was a man in her family that needed lots of care and looking after, and she wanted to be involved with that, but wasn't able to do it all herself. Allora, um, a, a Silvana, questa Silvana, eh, dunque, è capitato che è successo che nella sua famiglia ci fosse un uomo che avesse tanto, tanto bisogno di cure e, mm, e non, quindi non, fosse non autosufficiente e che lei avrebbe voluto tanto essere coinvolta in questa cosa e invece non, non le è stato possibile. See, this is why it's easier when we bring, I bring people live so I can talk to them. So okay, you a... want, okay, you want to, you want to invite somebody? Yeah. Okay, allora, io vi metto nella chat. Ok. No, aspetta. Eh. Okay. I was just trying to pick somebody off the feed and that was just somebody that I, I felt connected to. But I, I don't mind who you bring on. Yeah. <laughs> allora, c'è qualcuno che vuole... Ah, Silvana. Yes, my father. Silvana. Okay. Yes, my father. 
So she understands this, okay? Yeah. And also um, there's a feeling where um, as much as Silvana might have family, she's felt very alone for a while and that she at one point decided she might try and look into f finding and contacting some of her family she's never known. That's, that's been a thought. Ok, allora um, praticamente lui chiede a Silvana se può essere vero che lei si è sentita anche se era in famiglia che si è sentita sola all'interno della sua famiglia. And the second, the second thought is that she might look into finding and can try to maybe communicate with family that she hasn't known and also ask, also ask her if there was anyone that had a passion for the trains and the railways or worked with the trains and the railways in her family. Uh c'è qualcuno, Silvana, che ha avuto una passione per, uh, per i treni e che ha lavorato con i treni nella tua famiglia? Ah, one second, Marcus. The, the lady came, Maria Grazia. She said, sorry, I was working, I had, um, I had earphones, but uh, I, did, I didn't understand well. And she said, Maria Grazia, Linda Schettini. She said, uh, it could be my father that was, um, died for a stroke and uh, in a clinic, and he was a, a sailor. I have a picture with him, a sailor man with a, with a hat, and uh, August is the wedding month. I know it's an important day. I know yeah. it's an important and, day. And the ring with the, with the red stone was my mother, and um, he, he gave the ring to, to him. Uh, he gave the, the ring to the mommy and uh, Franco is the name of um, my, my brother who is his first son. Oh, that, does there he is. Yeah. I, knew, I knew this man was here telling me this. So yeah. <laughs> does Maria want to come live with us? Maria Grazia, vuoi venire live? Un secondo Silvana, eh? facciamo prima Maria Grazia. Allora, Maria Grazia, Linda Schettini, vuoi venire live? I, I didn't think the spirit world would bring me someone that wasn't here, you know. <laughs> it just didn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, That's it was cool. really. Okay, I invite. Okay. Okay, I try to invite her again. Okay. Allora, io vi ho messo il... oppure lo metto, facciamo così, mettiamolo nel banner. No, mettiamolo nel brand qua. No, banner. Allora, mettiamolo qui. Ok. Non so perché non si vede. Lo vedete? <ride> She said, I don't look so good today. Maria Grazia, who cares? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, look, let's, um, let's, that's, you know, that's, that's what happens, isn't it? But I, yeah. but if, I, I'm glad that she understands the information. And yeah. I know that there's a feeling that, um, just give me a second. Let me yeah. just get him back. Because the, the man I've got here very, very, very much wants to tell her, one, that he's okay, but two, that he's almost like a guardian angel to her. Allora, lui uh, dice che, um, um, cioè che lui sta benissimo, Maria Grazia, eh, <coughs> che lui vorrebbe dirti che sta molto bene, che è diventato una specie di guida per te. Ok? And she should understand that she was wanting to do lots of writing or started doing lots of writing and she put it down and stopped doing it or, 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 or the idea of it. Allora, eh, lei dice di, cioè lui dice che dovresti scrivere e, no, e non smettere di scrivere perché ti spinge a, a scrivere allora Maria Grazia guarda che ti ho spedito l'invito su Messenger ok quindi eh, vai su Messenger Maria Grazia clicca sul link così entri nel, nella diretta 
And while we're waiting, I do feel that her dad had been quite unwell for about four years. And we've been looking at changing his diet and getting him to look after himself better. But it was very difficult because her, her dad, he would like say, yeah, but he wouldn't really, he didn't want to comply, you know. <laughs> allora, intanto che, che tutti i colleghi voleva... Eh, voleva dirti che eh, dunque lui eh, gli arriva che per quattro anni non è stato bene prima di morire e che avrebbe voluto ehm, seguire una dieta e tante volte ci ha pensato eccetera però poi alla fine eh, non, praticamente non, non ce la faceva insomma e quindi non riusciva a fare questa dieta ok <ride> I'm grateful for everybody's patience so I can tell you that I'm going to have to learn Italian. <laughs> allora dice che è molto grato per la pazienza di tutti, che lui deve imparare l'italiano. Eh, I know, but step by step. <laughs> I hope that uh, Maria Grazia can come. How do I, how do I see that, uh, that she's she coming? She pops she'll, out. Just appear, she'll just appear well, at the bottom. Yeah, Did it you appears. Know? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did she respond to any of the things that we asked? Um, I think yes. Well, she said, I don't believe so. Non ci riesce. She cannot come into. She doesn't. She, she, she doesn't. I don't know why. Does she understand the information? Comunque Maria Grazia, l'informazione è che il papà ha sofferto, che tuo papà aveva sofferto per quattro anni prima di avere l'infarto e che ha tentato varie volte di cambiare dieta, eh, ma non, non ce l'ha fatta. Non, insomma, dice, lo diceva sempre, cerco di, di mangiare meglio, eccetera, ma alla fine non ce la faceva. Can you also tell her that I know that um, her father is, is making me feel as though There's, there's a, there's a, a very competitive family with each other. Allora, um, suo padre dice che, che era, voi in famiglia eravate molto competitivi l'uno con l'altro. Ok. She said, yes, everything is true. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. what, she, what she's come to realize is that she's come to this realization that She's been actually looking into many of the things that have happened and, and actually been saying the words, I now begin to believe that things happen for a reason. That's been something that's been on her mind. And can she understand the lady in the family who fell down and quite badly hurt both of her knees? Because her father's telling me this. Okay. Allora, c'è una donna che uh, praticamente è caduta nella tua famiglia e si, si è fatta male a entrambe le ginocchia, è caduta per terra e, uh, e poi uh, dice che tuo papà a, a, a un certo punto ha fatto un po' un riassunto della sua vita ed è arrivato, ha guardato tutto un po' dall'alto ed è arrivato ad alcune considerazioni, ha capito delle cose riguardo alla, alla, alla vostra famiglia. Allora vediamo se, se c'è questa persona. Let's see if, the, if this person who fell on the knees. Yeah, I know that I can keep seeing her father's name inscribed on something outside. So there must be some, some kind of memorial or something in a garden that they've put his name on or in his memory. Because I know that I can keep seeing that or the idea of having that. And he's conscious of this. He's aware of this. He's trying to show that he's around by talking about these things. Ok, allora eh, c'è forse un, uh, un insegna o un, uh, un qualche cosa con scritto il suo nome nel, nel giardino, comunque fuori o in casa, eh, o c'è qualcuno che aveva pensato di fargli una, una sorta di memoriale eh, di, di qualche cosa eh, per, per suo papà, con il nome di suo papà, perché lui è lì intorno che continua a parlare di questa cosa. Allora Maria Grazia says, oh my god, yes. My aunt, that late, later after falling, um, her, I don't understand, but her, her sister is dead last week. Oh. Yeah. And something to do with the knees? Or? 
About the knees, eh, cioè per, le, per la caduta, dopo la caduta con le ginocchia? I think there's a bit of a delay from when yeah. we talk. How, yes, yes. She, um, she has a, 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 a centro revisioni, non so come, dove ora gestiscono, dove ora gestiscono i miei fratelli, cioè, so, oh yes, there's a, a, this name, his, his label, his name is on the, on a center uh, where they work, where they, uh, her brothers work in this, and there is his name on that. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. What oh, I wanted beautiful. to say was that he's looking at her living room and it's quite long, the one I'm seeing, and it's being decorated in like yellows and creams. And I can see Maria in this looking, thinking, thank God this is done now. <laughs> Because so I know this must be something that's happening because he's talking about that. Ok, allora tu hai una sala, Maria, dove che è decorata in giallo, in crema, un colore di questo tipo e praticamente ti vede sedu seduta in questa, in questa sala che ti guarda intorno e dice oh, meno male che questa cosa è finita, è conclusa, abbiamo finito la decorazione, eccetera. Perché lui eh, parla, so parla molto di questo e sta dicendo and, and questo. Se non è lei, allora è qualcuno close a lei e al suo padre, perché ha mostrato me questo. Ok, se non, se non sei tu, yes, she said my home, yes, my home, yeah. He's, he's doing this to let her know that he loves her, he's close to her and he's enjoying her joys. He's saying that he has tried to whisper so she would have heard his words and had an experience of him. Allora, eh, lei, e lui dice, Maria Grazia, che ti sta dicendo questo, sta riportando questo evento, perché praticamente ti vuole, ti vuole far capire che ti ama, che è vicino a te e che... Eh, gioisce della tua gioia eh, quindi è molto felice insieme a te e, mm, e ti ama molto ecco mm. just recently and before I leave her and I just want to say that her father is blowing her kisses and he he's, molti, got, he's, got the most, he's got the most utmost respect for her and mm. that he feels that she has um worked very hard and stayed humble as a person. But recently he says that she tried some shoes on and said, look how tall I am. And, and just ask if she understands that or where that conversation has happened. Allora, lui dice, lui dice se tu recentemente, allora, eh, che lui apprezza, ti apprezza moltissimo, ha un, ha un rispetto profondo per la tua forza e per la tua umiltà e che lui cerca comunque di sussurrarti eh, di modo che tu possa sentire le sue parole um, dice se tu hai eh, recentemente ti sei comprato un paio di scarpe ti sei messa su questo paio di scarpe e hai detto oh come sono alta <ride> she said, um, uh, she said uh, thank you daddy I love you so I, I also love you so yeah Very nice. Well, send send her love from her father. I just want to say to... Um, oh, so oh, oh, there's something I want to read this that she said. She said, um, I write and I do metaf metaphonia. Okay. And uh, lots of time he opens the bridge with his name. Oh, so he's heard. Yeah. She's heard. But she, there, um, he, was, he wanted her to pick up her writing again and do more of it because it's a feeling that she was slowing down with it. Lui, lui vuole che comunque tu prenda in mano la tua scrittura e che scriva ancora perché è come se stessi scrivendo troppo poco ultimamente. Mm. Um, I'm going to leave it by saying that um, he just he's acknowledging the name of Paul or Paola or something like that, but I know that he's in the family, but he's also just He wants her to know that he's okay. Ok, That's... allora eh, dice che adesso ti lascia con quest'ultima quest cosa, dicendoti che sta dicendo un nome Paolo, Paul, eh, che è qualcuno della tua famiglia e vuole dire che questo Paolo sta bene e quindi sta bene di non preoccuparsi che non c'è nessun problema. Eh, she said, Maria Grazia says, I don't have any words. Marcus, thanks. I'm, I'm speechless. Thanks a lot. Oh, Yeah, and she said, uh, oh yes, I write, but sometimes uh, she said, I, 
I don't trust myself. I'm scared that it's my mind. Okay. Well, he, he wants her to pick it up and carry on. Um, he's just showing me pool and snooker or whatever you, you might call it in Italian. You know, the oh, billiards. Snooker. Ah, billiards. Okay. Uh, Paolo, she said, Paolo is my cousin. Cousin. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, he said and... he thought that. Ok, it's ok, ha detto che va tutto bene e poi gli sta mostrando, ti sta mostrando il biliardo. Non so se giocava a biliardo o comunque ti sta mostrando questa cosa. That's beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to say thank you to Maria. Um, Grazie Maria. So Silvana, I was aware of um, uh, her father and needing that care, but she wasn't able to be totally involved. I don't know if she's still here, but I know mm -hmm. that what he's doing is is he's trying to wrap um, loving energy around her and two or three other people in the family as though people have, er their, their communication is eroded between some people in the family. Uh, what does it mean eroded? Involved. It's like kind of, it's broken down, it's not okay. really happening. Like ah, eroded, ah, okay, yes, okay. Allora, Silvana, se sei ancora qua, dice, dice che, allora, <coughs> tuo papà ti vuole dire che la, la comunicazione nella tua famiglia si è un po' erosa, era, si è un po' spezzata nella tua famiglia. And I've just got to say, her father, he's got a very sweet tooth, he's shown me um, fruit tarts, cakes, this kind of thing. And I know that he absolutely loves things that have been nicely made. You know, he appreciates like a, a patisserie or something, you know, that's what he's showing me. <ride> allora, tuo papà Silvana sta mostrando delle torte, delle, delle, delle torte di frutta, dei, dei, delle cose con la, dei dolci di pasticceria <ride> e cose così, perché gli piacevano molto e gli piacevano molto le cose fatte bene, che erano fa presentate bene e fatte bene. È molto... I've, obviously, I've obviously never met Silvana, but he's making reference to having quite a sweet voice and he loves hearing her voice. Allora, lui dice che tu, avevi, che tu hai una bellissima voce e che lui ha sempre amato ascoltare la tua voce. Silvana said, it's true, it's true. Also, can she understand that there were like two passings very close together, where we, we, we lost two people in the family very close together? Allora, uh, she said he was glotten. He was very glotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyway, uh, allora Silvana dice che tu hai avuto due morti vicine, due persone che sono andate molto vicine, vero? Yes, she said yes. And he knows that there have been times where she has seen his face either in her mind or in her dreams and he wants her to know that he's been aware that the last two years, or, or about two years ago, 18 months ago, she felt really not happy. And there were times where she thought she didn't even want to be here. But he's so glad that she's built up her strength mentally and emotionally, and he's saying it's never going to be that bad again. Mm. Allora, <laughs> Silvana, Silvana, questo è, è bellissimo. Allora, dice che, eh, dunque, a volte tu hai visto il suo viso, e, e lui comunque ti è, vabbè, ti è comunque molto vicino e dice che circa un, due anni fa, un anno e mezzo fa, 18 mesi fa tu hai avuto un momento in cui sei andato molto giù e, e lui dice che ti, ti vuole dire che um, ha, ha molto apprezzato il fatto che tu abbia, sia riuscita emozionalmente a superare questo momento e ti vuole dire che non accadrà mai più non ti accadrà mai più di sentirti così That's moving, very moving. She said there were three people, but there was two very close together, and then one several months later. That's what I know. But what... Um... The, uh, there were uh, three people. Ah, tre people. Ok, due vicine. Ok, lui dice però due vicine e poi una diversi mesi più tardi. È successo. She must have a hat that belonged to her father. De deve aver avuto un, un cappello che apparteneva a suo padre. She said, I'm very happy. Thank you, I'm very happy. Oh, bravo. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, can you tell her there's a female dog in the spirit world, which um, it seemed to be kept alive for quite a long time, because I know it feels very shaky, and it was losing weight, and, and 
and wasn't able to consume water for a while but i know it's very soft and it was a very housebound dog um mm. i don't know if she recognizes it but i know her father has that with him ok ha detto che tuo padre ha con sé un cagnolino è una femmina un cagnolino femmina ehm, che è molto fluffy è molto morbido eh, un cagnolino così e dice che è stato tenuto in vita a lungo eh, aveva difficoltà a bere nell'ultimo eh, e era un po' tremava un po' e, e dice che ce l'ha con lui se, se lo riconosci se riconosci questo cagnolino questa cagnolina We have only four minutes, but anyway. What I'm going to do while we're waiting for her to um, respond, I'm just going to say there's a lady here that tells me that her daughter has her ring and she wears her ring and, and spins it around her finger. Um, oh, she doesn't understand that. She's saying no to that. No, she said no, no about the dog. Yeah. She doesn't, she she doesn't realize that. Okay. Can find okay. it. Yeah. Uh, dice che comunque c'è una, una figlia, there's a daughter, her daughter, there's a daughter, you said? Um, no, no, I'm sorry, just let Silvana to see if she can find that, because it will be something for her, so. Ok, comunque se, se lo puoi trovare in un futuro perché è qualcosa per te, questo cagnolino è qualcosa per te. Comunque c'è questa signora che ha un anello al dito e che continua a, um, continua a farlo girare, a farlo girare sul dito. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, this is now moving on from um, Silvana. I'm moving okay. on from Silvana now. So um, oh, I have a lady. Another, okay, there's another lady. Okay, yeah. c'è un'altra signora. So I have a, um, a lady in the spirit world that um, is making reference to there being cancer in her chest or breast where it happened twice and her daughter has her ring and wears her ring. There's two ah, rings, but her daughter wears one of them. Ok, allora c'è una signora, questo lo facciamo velocemente, c'è una signora che ha avuto un cancro uh, qui ai polmoni, un cancro, uh, at the lung, lungs, cancer in the lungs. <coughs> Breast or chest? Chest. chest, ok, o al seno o comunque al, right. al petto, eh, due volte e c'è una la su, sua figlia che ha due anelli ma uno è quello che lo fa girare eh, che continua a farlo girare sul dito ok she said uh, Emanuela ba, uh, Bambara Emanuela Bambara is saying it can be my mother okay. the lady who makes the okay. ring can, um, Emanuela can, can you understand that um, your mother would have put on a very brave face and been very almost dismissive of the uh I'm okay don't worry about me almost like you know yeah. very stoic yeah allora eh, de, ti risulta che mh, allora che questa signora aveva un, un viso molto coraggioso aveva messo una maschera di grande coraggio e eh, che faceva come se le cose andassero molto bene che non, non c'era nessun problema And, and while she's looking to answer, also that when her mum passed, it shocked her so deeply, it made her physically ill, it made her quite sick. E quando sua madre è andata, ehm, praticamente è stata molto male, si è sentita molto male, molto molto male. Um, she said no cancer in the breast. Well, that's no. not her then. <laughs> not her. Thank allora you for speaking to me, Emanuela. Ok, grazie Emanuela, ma non sei tu. One, one lady is saying, my, my aunt, my aunt, Rosy, Rosy Naldini. The thing is that, sì, sì, Rosy Naldini, she said, yes, yes. And if Rosie. she understands that her aunt was like a mother or connected to her mother, I don't mind that. Okay, è una persona automama o... Silvana said, you're not talking about me, right? No. We're not talking about you. Well, unless she can understand everything I've said, I, I wasn't intending to, but it could be the case because I was still talking to her. <laughs> uh, just okay. Asked. Okay. Anyway, 
So I'm sorry that I have to tell you that we ran out of time because it's one hour. Um, oh. Oh. Well, that's okay. I mean, I listen, I'm, I'm here doing my best. Um, yeah. And, was, and you're doing your best and everyone's doing their best. It's, yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> yeah it's not easy but you know we're doing we're doing what we can and um yeah. I, I hope people have enjoyed it and got something from it and we managed to connect with a couple of people right 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 it was <laughs> wonderful i mean it was there was people that say oh my god it was so detailed oh my god oh my god you know lots oh, of well, that's good. yeah 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 and there's people no you're going away no not yet but we have to because there's another another relator Ah, uh, but uh, okay. I want to say, okay, you are extraordinary, Marcus and Sophia. Is saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and everybody. And uh, what I wanted to say to everybody, where they can find you. Allora, ehm, voi potete comunque seguire Marcus Day. Lui ha due dirette alla settimana: il mercoledì, uh, Wednesday and Sunday, right? Norm normally, normally Wednesday and Saturday. And sat normally, normally, but I sometimes change it up, you know. Yeah. Allora, normalmente lo trovate su The Medium Wave of Marcus Day, su Facebook. Ovviamente non ci sarà la traduzione, no translation, of course, but they can follow up and they can mm. start learning a little bit of English. And <laughs> potete imparare un pochino di inglese. E, there, there is subtitles, and I don't know if they come up in Italian or whether they come up in English. I don't know. Okay. Uh, forse ci sono i sottotitoli. But anyway, we can host you at the times if you want to. And uh, you also can come on my page, and uh, there's a lot oh, of people following. Yes, and so that's, wherever that's you very want. Nice. I'd I'm, okay. I'm going to learn Italian and come back. <laughs> <laughs> allora, ha detto che eh, impara italiano e poi ritorna. Allora, the medium wave with Marcus Day. Yeah, that's okay. the one. Okay, allora ve l'ho messo. Ve l'ho messo nei commenti, questo, eccolo qua. Eh, questo è dove lo trovate su Facebook, due volte alla settimana e, e um, vedrete anche gli orari. Quindi, Marco, ti, ti ringraziamo infinitamente. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Me. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you to everybody who uh, endured the difficulty and stayed patient and was kind. <ride> allora lui sta ringraziando tutti perché nonostante la difficoltà iniziale di questo primo contatto ehm, eh, comunque vi ringrazio perché siete stati molto pazienti siete rimasti e, e, volete, e avete voluto ascoltare ancora eh, grazie di tutto eh, ok, thank you so much and uh, we you. hope to see you soon ciao ragazzi, un bacione ciao 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 ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye bye.